Good morning, brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ and Holy Mary. Good morning today, Wednesday, 18 September 2019. First reading for today of the first letter of the Apostle St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 3, verse 14 to 16. I give you this instruction, although I hope I will see you soon. If I delay, you will know how to conduct yourself in the hassle of God, that is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of of the true. How great indeed is the mystery of our religion. He was made visible in flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by the angels, proclaimed to all nations, believed in throughout the world take it up in glory the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm number 111 in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit my apologies how great are the works of the lord together how great are the works of the Lord. Hallelujah! I thank the Lord with all my heart in the council and in the assembly of the upright. The wonders of the Lord are great and pondered by all who delight in them. Together, how great are the works of our Lord! Glorious and majestic are his deeds. His righteousness endures forever. He lets us remember his wonders. And Lord is merciful and kind. How great are the works of our Lord always mindful of his covenant he provides food to those who fear him he shows <coughs> his people the power of his arms by giving them the land of other nation how great are the works of our lord Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your word, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah. Reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 7, verse 31 to 35 What comparison can I use for the behavior of these people? What are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace complaining to one another We play the flute for you and you will not Dance, we sang diggers, and you will not cry. You had done the same. John the Baptist neither are bread or drank wine, and you say, He has an evil spirit. Then came the Son of Man eating and drinking, and you say, Look, as a glutton and a drunken, 
and friends of publicans and sinners. Yet the wisdom of God has been proved right by her children. The word of God. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Once again, we meet on Wednesday, halfway through the week. If you finish on Friday, so you know that after today, it's two more days and you're good to go for the weekend. And the weekends are so short. Today, in this first reading, uh, Paul is telling something that it, it really it, it is to blow everybody's mind away. And because there is one church, and you'll say, whoa, whoa, there's so many churches. There's the Baptist, there's uh, Atalaya, there's Lutherans, Anglicans, there's so many churches. But go grab your Bible and go and, and read with me what it is because, you know, you might say, oh, he's just twisting the words. No, no. Grab your own Bible. And in your own Bible, you're going to find something that is going to blow your head off. And you're going to be like, no, this is not possible. But let's go and read it one more time. He said to Timothy, I give you these instructions. So when he talks to Timothy, you know, he's talking to us. Although I hope I'll see you soon. And me, and me too. We hope to see you soon, Paul. If I delay, you will know how to conduct yourself. It. This is, you know, one of the disciples and his the letter, and he's wanted to make something very, very sure, and to leave it for for. For generations until now and and this is the Word of God how to conduct yourself in the hassle of God God has a house that it is the church of the living God the pillar and foundation of the truth and then you say like Oh no, we have a temple. Yes, you do have a temple. Do you have the Eucharist there? The real Eucharist. The real Jesus. We do have the Eucharist there. Because our church comes from, from, from when he said to Peter, you know, you're the rock and on you I will form my church. We can look it up on Matthew 16 18 and and on and today he is telling us that he has a church and and the mystery of this is so amazing because his generosity he, he nobody can be god in generosity you know that he says if you ask me, I, I will I will grant it. If you ask for wisdom, he will grant the wisdom to you. So Paul, Paul wants to make something sure about the church of the living God. And then it says something about the truth. So you know the Bible, when the Bible was uh, they wrote the Bible, put the Bible together. You know, the Bible is uh, many, many different books. When they put it together, it was by the year 383, around that around that time. And and then uh, Damaso, San Damaso, at that time, he, 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 he called out and he said, this is the word of God. And then on the, on the Concilio of, uh, of Rome, 
and it, and uh, also and so many different conciliars in the next probably five years. Uh, I gotta get back to you with the specific of those years. Uh, it was you know by all the different bishop and and they agreed that that was gonna stay, and that's how 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 it was. But it was on the 382, and if you remember how this happened, you know all this different uh gospel so why there was only four gospel because you know there was other gospels too and they would write other people wrote about it too but why these four gospel why the the similarity why out of those four gospel only two were disciples apostles direct from jesus and the other two so it's to tell you that since the beginning, the Holy Spirit would descend on um, on Pentecost. The Ho Holy Spirit descend on Pentecost, so he was already in charge of the whole the whole church. So, it's to tell you uh, today. I was reading Santiago, and and I was reading Peter, the the letter of Peter and Santiago, and, and uh, John's brother. And I was like blowing my head off because I was like, "Wow!" For the fisherman to write the the, the way he wrote, and, and the and the deepest and the and, and the, the the Holy Spirit really, really is a major part. Is and it, it is the whole part. So that's why here when this uh, when Paul was sitting and writing, remember it, it's like you're writing something and, and your mom is checking you out and it's like. You gotta say this, or you gotta say that. It's the same way with the with them. It, it, the Holy Spirit is checking them out, it, and when when it comes like that, it, because that it was gonna stay. That's why when I send the gospel, I, I I send it and I put eternal gospel, because it's it's yesterday, it's today, and it will be in the future, and and that's how uh, he wanted to to tell us. So that's why I, I wanted to 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 tell you guys that are in a different church. Ask yourself, uh, when was that the, the year that your church was founded? You know, maybe 190 years ago, maybe uh, 130 years ago. So, or maybe 500 years ago. And believe me. All, most of this church they have good intentions except for the ones that are just throwing at, at us bazookas <laughs> and an atomic bomb but but the thing is since the beginning this happened and this been happening for, for a very long time and that's why the Lord it is telling us today in this reading that he has his church he says, conduct yourself in the household of God that is the church of the living God. You know, it could have said that it are the churches, but it says plural, it stays singular. And that's something that sometimes nobody explained it to us. And we need to really realize this, that God has his own church and, and he's there and, and sometimes uh, this we don't realize it but today he says to us that great indeed it is a mystery of our religion so no it doesn't say religions with the S many other ones religion singular and this is how and today uh, he's mentioned it to us in today's gospel you see how beautiful Jesus put it together because you know I was reading Santiago today and, and, and if you read Santiago it's not a long book it's a five five chapters and and it says something about the thought that, that that you know some people say beautiful thing but at the same time they are cursed so much so how can that be possible that you say, I, I bless you today, God bless you today, and then you get hurt, oh, beep, 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 you know, and you start saying many things. 
Come on, it doesn't go like that. You know, that's why he mentioned today in, in, in the when I was reading that we can we can be controlling the animals and everything all over the earth flying. We can train them, dogs, everything. But this one, it's hard for us to really train it because it's something that if we don't wash it, it really can take us to 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 hell, to, literally. Because sometimes we can kill people with only saying words that it really can hurt other people. So that's why in today's uh, gospel, uh, it says, I, you know, you talk about John the Baptist, and now you're talking about me. But at the end, it said that yet the wisdom of God has been through right by her children. So the children of God are those that really humbly realize that there is something bigger than them. And they bow to God and, 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 and they trust God. And that's, you know, probably that today's uh, message for all of us. And and not talk, start being, you know, gossiping and talking and, and always saying that oh, you should have done that. You should have done this. Like he was saying, like we dance, we play the, fl the flute and you do nothing. And But, you know, but you, 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 know, you always have... You were ready to say something bad about us. And that's how it goes these days. You know, these days uh, that we have people that, that have been, you know, been doing the wrong things. That we have people that infiltrate our church just to to try to destroy it. But like it says on, 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 on Paul, it's the pillar of the truth. And that's why uh, the abortionists hate it. That's why the LGBT hate the church. That's why that, you know, many other feminists, they hate them, you know, and that's why the church is always going to be the, the middle, the middle uh, of the morality for, for, for everybody around the whole world. And if you and me start acting like Christian, listen, all these people, they're doing the wrong thing and hating us. If we st really start acting like a real Christian, maybe they'll, they'll change their, 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 their mind and they change and they, they, and they you know, ask God for forgiveness and, 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 and they can go also to, to heaven. But we sometimes don't care. When we have to say something, we don't say nothing. So brothers and sisters, I welcome you again to this channel of our Lord, Mama Mary. That's what we say, Mama Mary, in the beginnings. And also, it happens to have my name on it. Your Apostle of Marian Movement of Priests here in New York, Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz. May God bless you, your entire family, for generations to come. Amen.